Hello, I'm Paul Dajic, founder of Elastic Steel Method of Athletic Condition. Today I'm going to talk about a 45 or cut roundhouse kick. It's a roundhouse kick that doesn't come across like a regular roundhouse kick. It comes up 45 degrees. A lot of full contact fighters use it. Uh, Masayama style people use it. Some MMA fighters use it. Some kickboxers use it. I was asked to show flexibility exercise for that kick or dynamic stretch exercise for that kick and I will again do it in a second. Uh, the advantages of this kick. When you throw this kick, you do not have to lean away. When you throw a regular roundhouse kick with a supporting leg turn out, your body sort of leans away. Maybe a little bit, but it leans away even slightly and your body has to turn to the side. When you punch, especially when you punch very close, and you have to throw the kick right from there, let's say I'm punching here, okay, and I have to throw a kick right from there, if I cut up at 45 degrees, then I don't have to lean away. If I have to lean away and turn, that's the only way I could throw this type of kick, okay? Different from straight up, okay, comes up at an angle. Okay, same to on the other side. There's a difference between doing a vertical leg raise straight up or the leg is slightly back here, you come up, comes up on an angle. Just enough to miss the shoulder or miss the arm, but it doesn't come around like a regular roundhouse kick. So what is the advantages of throwing the kick this way? Well, if I'm going to throw a roundhouse kick that comes all the way around and I'm here, I have to lean slightly away, rotate my supporting leg, throw the kick. Okay? Notice my body moves. Now, if I'm afraid my opponent is going to do something, especially if leg kicks are allowed, I cannot do that. I have to be right here, and I have to be as vertical as possible. Okay? I can't throw a front kick here. Okay? There's not enough room. But if I cut across at 45 degrees instead of completely parallel to the ground, 90 degrees, I might miss the shoulder and miss the arm, and still kick my opponent in the head. So when the head kicks are loud, you either get more points for them or they're more advantageous for the situation, then you might use that kick, as some full contact karate fighters do. Okay, so once again, comes up, comes across at about 45 degrees, it doesn't come across at 90 degrees parallel to the floor, it doesn't come straight up. Okay, so it goes very well with the hand techniques. And once again, the stretches for it, you step up, from here, you don't, you don't swing the leg up as you would for the front kick, outside crescent kick, inside crescent kick. You don't do that, okay? So the leg doesn't come straight up, okay? This leg comes here, and the leg comes up and across. Good. <laughs> 